वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द मॉडिफाइंग अ डब्ल्यू लिंक लिस्ट बाय यूजिंग फंक्शंस वीडियो सो इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई हैड डिस्क्राइब्ड द फर्स्ट फोर फंक्शंस एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द नेक्स्ट फाइव फंक्शंस व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर मॉडिफाइंग और मैनिपुलेटिंग अ डब्ल्यू लिंक लिस्ट नाउ बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू द वीडियो इफ यू लाइक माय एफर्ट इन मेकिंग दिस वीडियोस फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड इफ यू लाइक माय कंटेंट इन कोडिंग गेमिंग एंड ऑल those discussion videos which are there on my channel then please leave a like and also comment on this video and give me your feedback about what type of content you would like me to make for the future and also if you really like my content then you can please subscribe to my channel so that you never miss an update from me in the future now moving on to the next five functions in the previous video i showed you the insert at head function the insert at end the insert at any position as well as the delete from head function now in this video i'm going to start from the delete from end function so the delete from end function is accepting the parameter of the address of the starting node of the w link list and inside this function we are initializing the pointer t with the starting node of the w link list and we are going to check if the starting node is equal to null or not so if it is null then that means the w link list is empty and we can't delete anything because it is empty and because of that we have to print empty we can't delete anything but if we have something at least one node inside the w link list then we have to run one while loop which will take us to the end of the link list so until t of next not equal to null we are going to say t equal to t of next and as t has move to the last node we are going to assign the place of t to the pointer p and we are going to say p equal to p of previous and p of next equal to null so we are shifting p to the penultimate position or we are shifting p one node back so that we can free the t pointer so in this way we are going to delete the node from the w link list we are going to delete the ending node from the w link list and now moving on to the next function the next function is the delete from any position so it is accepting the value which we want to delete and the address of the starting node of the link list or the w link list so inside this function the pointer t is getting allocated with some memory and we are also declaring one pointer i and the integer flag is initialized to 0 over here and then we are going to run one for loop which is going to start from the starting node of the w link list and we are going to repeatedly run this for loop until and unless i is not equal to null that is we are not reaching the ending node of the link list and inside this for loop we are going to check if the node next to the i th node or the node at which we are currently standing at is having the value or not so if it is having the value which is passed by the user to be deleted from the w link list then we have to assign t to the node after the node next to the currently standing node so then t will move to that position and then we will say the node next to the currently standing node is t so in this way we are going to create a bridge between the present node and the node after the node we want to delete so after deleting the node we are assigning the value 1 to the flag and then we will print deleted and then we will break from the for loop but if the flag value is still 0 then that means that we haven't find any such node mentioned by the user inside the w link list and then we can print couldn't delete now the next function is the traverse function it is similar to the function which we had seen in the linked list so you can check that video out those videos will be in the i button on the top right corner of this screen and now the next function is the search function it helps us to search for an element or one node from the w linked list so it is also quite similar to what i have discussed in the implementation of the linked list you can check that video now the next function is the reverse list function so in this the slight difference is that we are not only going to take care of the next pointer but also 
the previous pointers as well. So in this way, we're going to reverse the list. So these were some of the functions which I made use of in the manipulation or modification of the doubly linked list. So these were the total nine functions of how you can modify a doubly linked list by making use of functions. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and also comment on this video and share this video with your friends so that they can also watch my channel and also subscribe to my channel so that you can never miss an update and also tell your friends to do so so that they can follow my content as well. So I will meet you next time with some fresh content and stuff. Until then, make sure to subscribe my channel. So see ya and have a nice day.